Hi there, my name is Arturo Mejia. I work for Proxima, and I've been working on a project called Android Components. I normally work building libraries for uh, libraries using Gecko View and WebView, and I want to share some experience that I that, that we have been having, some pain about related to WebView, and at the same time, take the opportunity to show you what is Gecko View. Let's start. First of all, as I work for Mozilla, and GeckoView is a library from Mozilla, I don't want to sell you GeckoView. I just want to uh, show you that it's an, a tool that is there for you when you need it. And I don't want to tell you that like this, it is the best thing. It's a tool, and as any tool, and engineering is always good uh, to do like pros and cons and see what works for you, and you know, there is no like a single solution that will fix all your issues. You have to think through about it. And I just want to uh, let you know that this tool is there for you when you need it. You might hear about uh, WebView, but you might not know what is GeckoView. GeckoView is an open source library that helps you to uh, render web content on Android using GeckoView, using Gecko, that is the, the Mozilla Web Engine, and it's created by Mozilla. It's created and maintained by Mozilla and uh, the, um, the open source community. Oops. Yep. Another interesting thing that now you might be thinking, oh, this looks pretty similar to WebView, but it is not. Uh, first of all, GeckoView uses like the Gecko engine, that is the same engine that uh, Firefox uses, and while WebView uses Blink, that is the same web engine that uh, Chrome is using. Something that is pretty different about them is that they have like a quite different API. You cannot like replace an actual project that is using GeckoView. It is using WebView and replacing it with GeckoView. Another important thing is that WebView is a, a interesting component in the Android OS. It can pre pre pre-install it with the OS, but when it comes to it turns to update it, it works more like a normal app. You can if you go to the Play Store and search for WebView, you are going to find a page similar to this one uh, because it works similar to a normal app. It can be updated by the Play Store, but the difference is that this app can be updated by itself without any user intervention. And you cannot uninstall it. If you have like an app that relies completely on WebView, this might be a nightmare because this uh, component can be updated um, on full time and can change any time. You might not be asleep while I'm at, at night if you are using, if you are using that. And this is like an advantage that GeckoView offers you because GeckoView is a, a completely separate uh, library. It's like a normal Android dependency that you include uh, as a Gradle dependency and you can pin versions and you can update it when you need it. But I don't. I, I want to be completely honest. It has some disadvantage too. For instance, as it is not pre-installed with the OS, you have to pay a price for that. Uh, you it would it will add an additional space to your APK, something from like 30 to 35. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Uh, for instance. This is a price that you might be willing to pay in, in case that you need something like GeckoView. Like I told you before, these are pros and cons. You have to analyze what is your use case, and if the use case needed it, it's a tool. Another thing, okay, another thing is that, for instance, as I, as I work for Mozilla, our main product is a browser. We have like special needs. 
and when you are working with a, something like a browser and you need uh, access to the whole power of the web APIs, if you are working with WebView, it, you might be limited by that. And this is what advantage that Kekoview gives you. It exposes you like the whole web a API for you in case that you need it. Uh, right now, Kekoview is being used in many of our apps. That the first one is like a Firefox preview. This is like a, a completely free, free freedom uh, using Toxilla and Recomponents and using Gecko View, and it's the app that is going to replace what is a Firefox for Android right now. Another one is a Firefox a Focus, that is a privacy focus app. And also, there is a Firefox a VR, that is a web browser focused on the web VR technology. And something that I noticed while I was working with WebView and GeckoView is that if, for instance, WebView is, has like the configuration pretty tight, tightly coupled to the UI. If you want to load like a simple URL, you, it, it not might be an issue, but if you are doing something like a, like a browser that you have like a tab and this tab has like a lot of information related to uh, the website that you are seeing, like for instance the history, the whole history of all the sites that you might have visited. Maybe this tab is on private mode or it is on desktop mode that could be completely different from another tab. And if you're working with, with a web view, you have to maintain everything by yourself. This is an advantage that KekoView provides us, it provides you in case that you are working with a similar use case because it comes with like its own abstraction, call it section. When you have like a clear separation between the UI and the configuration, and you can switch between like a, a session and without having to recreate a new web view, a UI component. As uh, this is like some advantage that a uh, Gecko View comes with built comes built in. Like for instance, you can use tracking protection by default. You can use web VR, and also you can you can use web extensions when you want to like interact with a, a web content through JavaScript. Some of those terms you might have heard them, but maybe like tracking protection is something that you might not heard before. But you might suffer from, from, from this tracking on the web. Imagine that you uh, were trying to find like a mobile plan or a, a cell phone on the internet, and you start searching from different providers. And you start searching and searching, and you decide, no, I don't want to buy this plan right now, I want to wait, and you decide to switch to another another website. But all of the sudden, you start to see in some uh, apps that are related to to mobile companies. But why? And you close that tab, this is really weird. Why am I'm, I'm seeing apps related to what I was looking? And you uh, close the, that tab and go to another one. What happens? There are more inform more ads related to what you were looking for. This is like what tracking protection offers you. Uh, there are companies that are following you on the internet and are like sharing your personal information with other companies. And tracking protection block that behavior. And it comes uh, by default in Gecko View. If you are trying to do something, an app related to privacy, that might be a feature that you can use for free using GeckoView. Uh, like, as this is like lightning talks, there is like a lot of features related to GeckoView, but I don't have like a lot of time. If you want to continue like deep digging in and uh, looking for more information, you can go to like the first resource that is the 
Gecko View Developers website, geckoview.dev, or recently I wrote an article about uh, getting started with Gecko View, and you can find it on the Ray Wenderlich website. And also, there, if you have like any questions or if you want to know more about Gecko View, you can open a, an issue on its GitHub repository to like engage and there is like another project that is the project that I really work on that is called Mozilla uh, Android Components and if you are working like in something similar to a web browser or something similar to that uh, maybe Mozilla Android Components can be interesting for you because we have like a lot of components that can help you to build a browser faster and if you want to like uh, we one of the components that is pretty interesting is uh, the engine that we create like an interface that allows you to switch between using gecko view and web view with one api if you want to try uh, if you want to to do something uh, with gecko view but you are limited by the size you might use Android components, and you can uh, have this. Uh, you can switch implementations. You might go there and find more and find more information. And uh, in any any time, you can reach me. I'm open to to, to questions. And Mozilla is pretty uh, looking forward to see what you can in, in what use case you can use web uh, of you. And if you want to chat or grab up. A cup of coffee. You can come to our office, and you are more than welcome. If you can, read, if you want to reach me, out, thank you so much. <laughs> related to the APK size. This is pretty uh, important, but uh, it's pretty hard because it has like the whole engine itself. Every time that you are using Gecko View, you are, you are including like the Gecko engine with the, with the app. We, we are working pretty hard in reduce and consume less space, but it's, the dependencies are hard to do because it's, they, they, you need it as a whole. It's difficult to like breaking them and like having a, a, a separate bundle. Yeah. Oh, the before before other questions, I forgot that I brought some stickers, and if you want, they are here. <laughs> really aware of, uh, of that, but I can investigate about it. I can reach out to you after I've yeah, investigated. Absolutely. All right. Uh, thanks, Arturo. Uh, 